All right, we're here with Julie Lowry. Uh, she graduated from the English department. What year was it? Uh, 2013. And what was your track? Uh, creative writing. Creative writing. And what are you doing now? Now I am working with CSU Advise at Columbus State University. So how'd you get that job? Um, I, after I graduated, I stayed with CSU and worked with our tutoring services and then transitioned to the, our admissions office and then transitioned again to advising. Um, but through all those different positions, I uh, made a lot of connections, um, mostly with the tutoring services, um, working with Lisa Shaw, um, tutoring our um, dual enrollment students. Um, so that's how I connected with her and uh, became interested in the advising community. So um, I just talked to her one day and I told her, you know, I think that would be an interesting next step. And here I am. <laughs> Great. So what do you like about your job? I enjoy helping others. Um, so as a student or a former student myself, um, I know what it's like being confused and um, some students, you know, not knowing what major they want to pursue, or if they do know their, their major, um, just figuring out what classes they need to be taking. So, you know, just having an advisor there to help them through each step of the way. Because um, when I was a student, we had just the faculty advisors, um, CSU advice wasn't a thing yet. Um, so now this is a really great service because it's basically the student's point of contact from um, being admitted and up until graduation. So it's really great to be able to just be that person for these incoming students. Awesome. And uh, is there anything you learned as an English major that you that helps you with your job now? Absolutely. Um, yeah, when it comes to English majors, um, you you kind of you feel a little bit trapped sometimes um, as far as, you know, I have to become a writer or something like that. But you, you do learn a lot more with the English major, um, including, you know, communication, you know, how to break down concepts for others um, and also um, the analytical side of things when you're doing your research uh, for your papers and, and just learning how to do better. Um, so you, you start a job and then you kind of realize, you know, there's some areas of improvement here. Um, so learning how to do that research and present it also, um, I think that, that all of those skills have been introduced um, and, and implemented in these different uh, roles that I've had. And are you able to still do a little creative writing? Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely enjoy that. Doing some journaling, um, nonfiction writing, um, poetry, everything, you know, it, I definitely still have time for that. Awesome. And then last question, what advice would you give for current English majors at CSU? Um, definitely, you know, pay attention to your instructors. <laughs> they, uh, they've been there, done that. So they're the ones that um, they went through this and now they're teaching it, of course, but they do know um, a lot about the career options and opportunities that you'll have. And just don't limit yourself either. Um, if, you, if you're finding yourself having trouble finding um, something in the field of English and writing, um, don't limit yourself because there is more opportunity that you can still utilize the skills that you're getting out of these courses, like I mentioned, um, outside of just writing. Um, I actually went on and got my master's degree in, uh, in leadership. Um, and I, I use these uh, skills that I learned in the English program in leadership too, you know, using that to help others still and, and mold other people. So um, definitely talk to your resources um, create your network and, you know, don't give up. There's, there's so much more that you can do. So I think that's Excellent. about it. Excellent advice, Julie. Thank you so much for meeting with us and best of luck to you in the, as your career advances. Thank you so much.